We've been seeing increased levels of outbursts. Oh, you're doing so well. You are doing well. I'm Zach George. I train dogs. This is my new dog, and I'm gonna show you how I train her from day one. Things definitely won't always go smoothly. You can start from the beginning, or you can pick up anywhere. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an episode. When you put into motion an approach based on love and respect, your results will forever remain in motion. This is Inertia. Welcome to the Dog Training Experience. In this episode, I'll show you how I'm working on keeping Inertia from getting upset and freaking out when I leave her alone. And we'll see how Inertia does when we take her to practice in public around, I don't know, how about some giraffes? This series to me has been a passion project, one that I've wanted to do my entire career. Over the next several episodes, you're going to see Inertia and I go through the teenage months, and we definitely have a rocky time. There are definitely some struggles, as well as a lot of successes too. But as a reminder, I believe very strongly in giving a dog tons of exposure to the world they live in before holding them to an incredibly high standard when it comes to their training. That's why I take my time the first year of training to really give them a strong foundation, and that's that's a lot of what you're going to see over the coming months. I'm so excited to show you how Inertia and I continue to build our communication together. With her now being a few months older than she is in the series that you're watching, I can tell you that she really is coming a long way and I could not be prouder of her. I wanna give a heartfelt thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon. If you don't know, Patreon is a service that allows you to make monthly contributions to help us with our production costs and our editors and stuff that goes along with making these videos. Our series would not be as detailed as it is with out the help and support of our patrons on Patreon. So as you watch these episodes, consider becoming one of our monthly contributors on Patreon. I'll have a link in the description below where you can learn more. And you can get lots of rewards like clickers, frisbees, a signed book, depending on what you decide to contribute. And from the dog training experience, we all truly appreciate your support, whether or not you're contributing. And enjoy the episode. We brought Inertia out here to the park to do some training, and it turns out there's giraffes here. I don't know that Inertia has actually seen them, but she can certainly smell them. One of the things I really wanted to work on with her was stay in a specific position, preferably stand in this training exercise while I walk away, just so I can really proof that in this type of environment. I mean, if she'll do it around giraffes, she'll probably do it around anything, right? I've let her smell around for a little bit here, but right now she's really on those ground scents. Remember that practicing your training in new, exciting environments can be really challenging, but it also makes a huge difference in getting your dog to listen to you everywhere over time. Can you stand? Wait. Yes. Okay. Good job. That was awesome. Leave it alone. I'm really struggling to get her attention off of these cypress leaves right here. That's more of a distraction than the giraffes. How funny. Sit. Good. Stand. Stay. I know this looks like a lot of treats, but keep in mind, each treat is yes. smaller than a grain of rice at this point. Since I'm in this outdoor environment with very significant distractions around, I'm playing it safe by going with a very high rate of reinforcement. I'm gonna work on phasing out these treats during this exercise in just a moment, but right now I'd rather it be easy for her than anything else. Okay. I saw that she was going to break there, so I released her just as she was, because she was doing really well. I didn't want to have her do all that and then have her fail. Oh look, she's just noticed the giraffe for the first time. Yes. Very appropriate reaction. Remember earlier, she was barking at the mules walking down the street. I mean, a giraffe might be a bit more calm, although very tall. Wow. Good girl, you're being so good. Okay, let's go closer. I'm sure this giraffe must be really desensitized to people walking by. I mean, this is a public park right here. So this outing is mostly about desensitizing inertia. I want to give her a lot of experience just taking the world in and seeing new things. And in many of my training sessions right now, that's actually the priority above everything else. The more exposure and positive experiences I can give her, the more likely she is to think, okay, that's no big deal, whenever she encounters something new. Hey. Yes. There you go. Good. Yeah, look at you. Wait. I really want to make sure that Inertia learns that every time she voluntarily gives me her attention in an exciting place like this, she's going to get rewarded big time. Yes. I can phase out these rewards later Good. once she becomes more reliable. Now that she's adjusted, I'm gonna use fewer treats and give them to her more randomly in an attempt to begin phasing them out over time. Oh, you're doing so well. You are doing well. Oh, nice job. So getting a little peppier. Yes. Good, yes. <laughs> Wait. 
Yeah, yeah, good job. Hey, inertia, let's try this. Ready? Can you back up? <laughs> Love it, oh man. So we've been out here, I don't know, like a half hour and all this stuff happened. I mean, we encountered giraffes, but who knew the tough thing to deal with was going to be cypress leaves. Leave those alone. See them? Leave it. This stick, leave it alone. That's beneficial because it teaches your dog if something erratic happens near them, not to freak out. I mean, that's kind of erratic seeing a stick just get broken into pieces maybe. Let me test her emergency stay real quick. In other words, she doesn't know I'm gonna tell her to stay. See this? Stay. Oh, Inertia, you failed the test. She held her stay and then I got a little too crazy. Then she broke her stay. So we still have to focus on improving that. Stay. Woo! Yes, okay, we'll take that one. Never be afraid to break it down and make it easier when your dog doesn't meet your expectations for a particular training exercise. Almost every time I go out with her, so much happens in such a short period of time. It's just amazing training a dog in a world where you don't know what's gonna happen. As Inertia is around six months of age now, her separation anxiety continues to be present. It's not completely out of hand, but it's still something that needs a lot of attention. And real recently, she started to equate us going out of the side door with, oh gosh, they're leaving. And we've been seeing increased levels of outbursts. Dogs are incredibly perceptive and they'll pick up on just about every little thing that you do and when you're about to leave. I mean, she can probably see by the expression on my face that I'm about to walk out of the house. Go out here, close the door. See, do you see how she immediately starts barking? She hears the door close and she starts experiencing that anxiety. So I'm hoping to make some gains on resolving this. This isn't the kind of thing that you can resolve all at one time. I also cover separation anxiety and almost every other problem behavior you might have with your dog in detail in my second book. It's the most detailed dog training book I have. I'll have a link to Guide to a Well-Behaved Dog in the description below. My general plan is to exercise her and then I wanna see if that in and of itself helped a lot or if she still has anxiety. And if so, we're gonna do some counter conditioning as well. As usual, I'm going to be very consistent about practicing stay at this gate because we're working on getting inertia into a lifelong habit of always checking in with me before she runs out of this or any other gate that leads to the outside. Good, just using the Frisbee as a distraction. Remember, these little training sessions like this take 30 seconds at a time. It's not like you have to dedicate a ton of time to reinforcing these things. Good, well worth it for a six month old dog. Okay, good job. Immediately, Inertia is already distracted by some of the neighbor dogs in the background. She's smelling the air. Let's see if she'll play Frisbee if I try to get her interested or if she needs some coaxing. That's good, she's pursuing it on the first attempt. Ah, but quickly getting distracted by a ground scent. Remember, Inertia's Frisbee game is a work in progress right now. So this exercise session is also a great chance for me to check up on how she's doing and get a quick bit of practice in with her at the same time. We're focusing on exercise here because exercise is one of the most potent things you can do to reduce virtually all known types of anxiety. Inertia, get your toy. Here's a breakdown in our game. She doesn't want to pick it up and bring it back to me. Get it, what is that? Get it, yes! Right there, I really wanted to take the extra moment to encourage her to pick it up and bring it to me. Come on, let's go. Inertia's fetch game still looks pretty sloppy here, but we're seeing improvements over time. Remember to notice and celebrate small victories like getting your dog's attention on their fetch toy a little more frequently. Don't let perfection be the enemy of progress. Let go, come around, go. Good, there, hey, how about that? That was nice. Even if it was a miss, it was a very focused attempt. This is currently the state of our Frisbee training. She's getting increasingly more and more interested in early attempts to get her into the game. And my hope is that we can eventually use Frisbee as a really strong currency for inertia. But right now I have to really build her interest over the next several weeks to months. I've noticed that when she just starts panting a little bit, she likes to take a break, so we're gonna do that. I think after about two minutes or three minutes, she'll be interested. It's been two and a half minutes. She's looking a little more active. Hey, Inertia, let's do a test roller. Let me see if I can get her attention before rolling it. Leave it alone. Hey, come on, let's, let's go. Ready, go. She's back interested in it. Ready? Yeah, there we go. Go! Competing with those ground scents is really tough. You just have to stay the course. Just work on this like 10 minutes at a time with your dog. It's not like you have to dedicate your entire life to training. Go! There we go. 
Good job. Frisbee training is going, but there's still much, much left to do. Now that she's been exercised, let's see if that anxiety is reduced at all. She's watching me. I'm not gonna tell her to settle or anything. I just wanna see if the exercise had any effect at all. And so maybe if she waits a little bit longer to bark, for example, opening the door and closing it. Ah, still there, see that? In this case, that few minutes of exercise didn't seem to yield any immediate results. But I still think the exercise we did is still going to yield a benefit when we move on to our next step. Now let's talk about counter conditioning. My goal over time is to change Inertia's perception of me going out of the side door from, oh no, dad's leaving me, to, oh boy, that means I get something great. I'm gonna try using this toy now and putting a piece of chicken in it. See this, you smell that? giving her chicken inside this toy that is a little bit of a challenge, you know, challenging her mentally, giving her something exciting to do while I'm away. I'm gonna go out this time and see if she stays relaxed. Looks like... Okay, she's definitely reacting there. Settle. Quiet. So even though that was a really significant reaction, I do like that she responded to settle from this significant distance on the first request. Keep in mind that it's normal for young dogs to experience varying levels of anxiety when they're away from their people, and it's unlikely to go away all at one time. But by being consistent and managing it over the first few months, you're likely to be able to reduce it over time until it becomes a non-issue. Rather than continue to walk away and cause this anxiety with inertia, possibly making it worse, I'm gonna wait out a little bit right now and I'm gonna see if she just naturally relaxes maybe falls asleep I'll just be looking for her to be super relaxed and then I'm gonna try again and see how she does my hypothesis is that if I leave while she's a little bit more relaxed that her reaction won't be quite as severe and maybe I can center my training efforts around her when she's in that state of mind she looks really into that Kong right now so let's try again Nice, that was great. I'm hoping that she's genuinely relaxed or genuinely focused on that toy. Just coming back, she didn't whine. Good girl, yes. I like that you were good then. In fact, let's give her the ultimate reward, which is letting her be out here. If you want to, okay. She didn't whine, she didn't bark, and look, she got to get out of the crate. She gets to go around the house and explore. Of course, I'll still supervise her. So I'm gonna end on that note. Very challenging training session though. Sometimes you just have to brainstorm and see what works for your particular dog and come up with case-by-case -case solutions. There really isn't a one-size-fits-all approach to issues like this. So much of it is really contingent upon your individual dog and how they react to a variety of variables. Remember, these episodes are actually behind present day. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok to get real-time updates on how a nurse's training is going. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss an episode. Get a copy of both of my books so that you can have all of my most detailed training advice in one place. If you're enjoying this series, consider joining our Patreon community to help keep it going. I'll have all of the links in the description below. In the next episode, Inertia and I will continue to work in the real world, and I'm gonna leave Inertia alone with my wife for the first time. I guess we'll just all have to wait and see how that goes.